Well, welcome back to Women's Footy for NAB, who are giving away $10,000 to a local footy club. All you need to do is scan the QR code on your screen right now uh, or visit nab.com.au slash footy is back to enter. Well, we have a Melbourne superstar <laughs> on the line right now. Welcome to Eliza McNamara via Zoom. How are you doing, Eliza? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Good. Do I need to introduce you to my co-host today? Have you two met each other? <laughs> Hi, Eliza. Um, just briefly, I think. <laughs> Libby, is it? Yeah, it's, yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you, Eliza. Hey, oh, it must have been uh, really good to get on the scoreboard this week. Yeah, no, it's been awesome. It was, uh, yeah, pretty exciting to get on this week, yeah. You've had a terrific start to the year, Lizzie. I guess after unfortunately missing the first round with uh, health and safety protocols, but a fantastic finish here by you. How You're obviously an elite runner in the competition and in our team, but being a first year player last year, what was your goal heading into this season? I think last year I came in and like, my mind was just chaotic. Like it's so overwhelming and there's just so much to learn and take in, whether it be like connecting with the girls, but also understanding how the game really steps up when you get to AFL level and then how important it is to really have uh, kind of honed in your fundamental skills and not just bomb it forward because that was kind of what I relied on at NAB League was just kicking it forward into space. So I think last season, yeah, it was just finding the balance of how can I develop on field, but also really connect with the girls because I find naturally like the more connected you are with the girls and the more you relate and kind of get to know each other, it's just easier to then have that transfer onto the field. So that was one of my huge goals last year. And then in the off season, I guess, I was able to really hone in on my personal skills and working with Mick on my kicking and ground balls a lot in order to like... Uh, avoid getting concussed and simple things like that. Just technique that you don't really learn until you get really into the higher standards. So yeah, that was probably my main goal was, yeah, executing fundamentals and just getting my technique right, whether that being kicking or ground balls. Yeah, I know that I'm biased, but you are an absolute legend and you are a great young emerging player and uh, an awesome friend as well. I, I did want to ask, you did get yourself in a bit of a sticky situation <laughs> over the last two weeks. Can you tell us and uh, the audience a little bit about that? <laughs> well, it's just so random. Like two weeks ago, I was walking across the ovals near my house and I was wearing my Birkenstock and this stick kind of scuffed up the top of the Birkenstock and scraped my foot. But I just pulled it out, thought nothing of it. And then on Monday this week, so two weeks later, I woke <laughs> up at 1am and my foot was throbbing and I had this stabbing pain up my leg. And it was just like this huge infection in my foot. So we got on top of it on Thursday at training and come game day, all the pain had subsided. But yeah, it was just more of a laugh than anything. Like who knows what was on that stick and what, what's in my foot. But you know, it's done now. <laughs> I'm going, to call you, Eliza, I'm going to call you Sticky from now on. Eliza McNamara, who knows what was on that stick. <laughs> <laughs> Eliza, it was a windy game out there yesterday. Uh, we spoke to Libby a little bit earlier about how, uh, you know, how that is as a defender. How do you find it as a defender and, um, and playing with a wind, such a strong wind like a Casey Fields last night? Um, personally, I really struggle with the wind because, like, I need optimal conditions to execute my kicking, so the wind is just not ideal. But um, I think the girls, we really train through it and are slowly adjusting to the temperamental conditions at Casey. You can't really predict how it's going to be, but I think the wind didn't really play as large of a factor as it had recently, and I think that's kudos to the girls, just being able to overcome the conditions and just play our own type of footy and really get the job done. So, yeah, it's not too bad. And uh, I want to talk quickly about uh, Kalinda Howarth. Uh, she was uh, employed as a utility down back in the first half and then made her way forward in the second half. Um, did you expect to see her in, in the, the sweeper role yesterday? And, um, you know, both of you would have been near her as well, so I'd love to hear both of your experiences. Yeah, well, I'll jump in before Lizzy does, but I think they, they played us that spare behind the ball on us yeah. for the first couple of quarters and then Howarth moved up forward and, and kicked this goal on me, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but no, she was 
She was, yeah, really, really great down back for them. And, Lizzy, what did you think from that wing position all night? Uh, they obviously had that spare, but it was quite difficult to, to move around their numbers. Yeah, no, it definitely was. And I think, um, to Kalinda's credit, she really executed both roles really well. Like, in the defence, she was such a demanding presence. And, you know, it was really a struggle for the forwards to get it in deeper and kick a goal from it. And then she slid into the forward line almost seamlessly and was able to execute that goal and rather sloppy defence, if I do say so. But, um, no, I think... Did, did that's she kick it on you or like The youth of the competition is so... No, nah, Libby, definitely Libby. <laughs> she's, so, she's so adaptable and able to just play footy, like, no matter what position yeah. it is. So I think, yeah, she really had quite a good game last night. Yeah, she did. All right, well, Taylor Harris has been incredible since making the move from Carlton, having already bagged nine goals in the first five games. She is our trade of the week. Thanks to Imar Insurance, the tradies mate. Yeah, Taylor has been incredible. And I think that it is, at the D's, it's all about playing your role. And we're not asking anyone to do anything special. And I think Taylor's really fit into that in that she's just got so much uh, support around her, particularly with Daisy Pearce directing her and I, I think you heard it on the boundary line last night Bryony but yeah she's just an incredible athlete and Lizzie what have what have you seen from Tay and, and what she's brought to this team? Yeah well just beyond like her athleticism she's also just a wealth of knowledge in like the field of footy like personally she often is able to give me really kind of digestible tips and everything like it might be as simple as just really when you're going up for a mark, watch it right in and don't let go until like you've seriously landed both feet. Mm. But also off the field, she just brings a lot of good energy and I think girls buy off that. And I think, Lib, you'll probably be able to speak better to this, but the defenders really benefit mm. yeah. from playing on her in the pre-season and having to shut down such a demanding forward. I think that was really quite a key asset to the development of the defenders as well. Yeah, that's an excellent point, Lizzie, and, and something that I, that I hadn't thought about too much, but she definitely pushed the defenders <laughs> over the pre-season because uh, she's just so talented in the air and yeah. you have to get better if you want to play on Taylor Harris. Yeah, one of those moments where you're like, I'm really glad she's on my team. Yes. <laughs> well, that was the Imar Insurance Trade of the Year nominee for Round 5. The Trade of the Year will win two and a half grand thanks to Imar, so get, online, get an online quote an instant cover anywhere, anytime. Visit imar.com.au. Well, Liza, thank you very much for joining us on the show today. You don't go home empty handed, babe. We get lots of stuff to you. All the guests on Women's Footy take home a Samsonite luggage package where there's live sport. Samsonite is there too. For innovative travel and business solutions, visit samsonite.com.au. You're also going to get a Spinal Ease pillow. The best pillow in the world is at spinalease.com.au. And you also get a $50 McCafe gift card as well. Try the Aussie Angus Burger at Macca's today. That couldn't be any more perfect for Lizzy. A new pillow to sleep on and some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Love it. Thanks for joining us, Eliza. Appreciate it. Thank you, ladies. Have a lovely day. All right. See you tomorrow night, Lizzy. Coming up <laughs> next, Geelong captain Meg McDonald right after the break.